Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone Captain. Today we're going to be jailbreaking the iPod Touch running iOS 6. And you can see there on the screen we're currently running iOS 6. And you're going to need a couple of things before you start. First off, you're going to have to have Red Snow version 9, 0.9.13 dev 4. And I've gone ahead and downloaded it right here. And I'm going to go ahead and open that. And when it opens up, you see that it has detected my iPod Touch 4th generation in DFU mode. And that is exactly what we wanted. We want to start out with it in DFU. It's, it's a little extra or uh, just a little something to get you started faster. So click Extras to start off. Okay. And now we want to select IPSW. Mine's under the downloads here. Wherever you've saved yours at is where you... Okay, right here's my iPod 6.0. You need to make sure you have the right firmware. And it says the build was identified. It will be used for the rest of this Red Snow session. And that is a good thing. Okay, now you want to be sure and go back. And now you're going to click jailbreak. And now it'll run through all the kernel, do all of its thing. And on this particular screen here, you need to make certain that it says install SSH is in checked. Because that's what we're doing right now. We're wanting to install SSH. That will allow us to go on further and put City on there. So go ahead and click Next. And this might take a few minutes here. So what I'll do is I'll let it do its thing. And we'll come back whenever this is done. Because at the moment, we're waiting for the iPod to do its thing okay and as you can see here it's running some code as you can see it's running some code across the screen and this process does take a few minutes and as you can see right there it says the, pro the, the rest of this process will take place on the device this jailbreak this device is currently tethered and that means that you have to connect the device if it goes if it's turned off or if it's the battery dies or anything like that then you will have to connect the device and boot tethered to, to get your device back to active again all right now you can see on the iPod here that it's installing the bundles we're going through all that we got the little pineapple logo. So up to this point, this all is going just as is planned. Everything is doing what it's supposed to do. And now when we get a reboot, we get back to the lock screen. Then I'll bring you back and we'll we'll show you the rest of it. Okay guys, now what we're going to do is put the device back into DFU mode. So let me get it turned around here where I can get to it properly. I've got the screen protector halfway off and halfway on, so if you see that, I'm paying attention. I'll try to keep it where you can see what we're doing. Continue holding home 10 more seconds. And 
and you can hear probably iTunes in the background telling you that it picked up your device and did a few more that little beep sound. Okay, now we're ready to go back over to the computer and we're going to go back to the just boot here. We're going to click just boot. That's what we want. And now it's going to go through exploiting the lime rain and all that stuff again. And hopefully, if everything has gone properly, the next thing we see on the screen will be the little pineapple. Not the one with the legs, but that one. And that is the one that we currently were looking for. Alright, so everything has gone properly up to this point. Um, but we still have a couple steps we have to do in order to get Cydia on the device. Right now Cydia is not on our device. We have to install it and there will be some code in the uh, description box that you'll need to copy and paste into the terminal if you're on a Mac and I recommend PuTTY if you're on the Windows side so we'll get to that in a minute. But uh, once this boots back up and we get back up again to the lock screen, there it is. Then we will go over to the computer and the rest of the actual jail, jailbreak will take place over there. Okay. So now... What we need to do is open up Terminal. Let me open up Terminal. I've got some notes here. If you hear papers rattling, I apologize. Now we're going to install Cydia. And what you should have done, if you didn't, and you're like me, uh, then we can do it now. What we have to do is we have to go in here under the uh, settings menu and we want to find our IP address. Go to, go to the Wi-Fi up here. Tap Wi-Fi. And when the little blue arrow comes up, you want to tap on the little blue arrow part. And that first address right there is the one that you want to write down. You've got to have that. Okay. So let's go ahead and copy that down. Alright, mine as you see is 192168. One nine two. Alright, it says, do you want to continue connecting? And I had a little trouble there, but I think I may have gotten it fixed. We'll see. Click yes. Now, the password is Alpine, and it's all lowercase letters. A-L-P-I-N-E. And now we're at the root and now you need to copy and paste all of this text that I'm fixing to show you here into this. And let me pull it up here and find it. Okay, I copied it earlier right here. I'll actually have this in the description for you guys or on iPhoneCaptain.com find it in either place and we're going to go in here and we're going to command V all of that and now it says it's downloading the devs so we'll let it continue to do whatever it's doing and we're going to be waiting patiently for it to do its thing here and let's get hopefully Cydia installed on this device. 
So guys, really, it's that easy once all this downloading occurs and everything goes properly, then you should, your device will reboot. You just heard that one re, uh, reboot right then. And when it comes up, Cydia should be on the springboard. You should have it installed. And we want to thank the dev team and all their hard work for everything that they've done. And guys, if you're not already, please come over to iPhoneCaptain.com and please be a subscriber for all the latest updates on Cydia, everything to do with jailbreaking. I do all the top iPhone and iPad applications every week. And most times I do the top Adler's Choice every week. And if there's anything else you would like to see, drop it in the comments. I'll be glad to take suggestions. And I've got an ebook coming out. I want to get that in there. And I'll probably start putting links for that in the description any day now. So you can start looking for that. Uh, it's, a, it's a book on jailbreaking all the top tweaks, all the tips, tricks, everything you need to know about iOS. Check it out. I put a lot of work into it. It's about 60, 70 pages, something like that. And I think you'll enjoy it. And as you can see here, the, the city is preparing. It's going through all of its updating. We did manage to jailbreak this device properly. So I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And please keep coming back.